Well, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like the conversation surrounding the censorship of Stellar Blade is still continuing, where apparently the studio head has come out and said yet again and trying to reaffirm that the designs that were in the game at launch were the designs that he always intended to have. Now, we know this is just factually not true because if that was the case, it would have been on the disc version of the game, which is the launch version of the game. The fact that you had to patch it after the fact thus means it is censorship. But again, we can argue the uh, definition of the word all we want, but that doesn't change the fact that he's going to come out here, probably due to his contract with Sony, and push this narrative. My disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined Now, of course, anytime you have a studio head come out and try to say these things, what ends up happening is that you're going to have shill media websites like Games Radar uh, run with the story. They're going to run with the story because they know what the story means for their clicks, and they know that if they run with this story, that people are going to completely disagree and call them out on their BS. We have a headline here from Games Radar that says Stella Blade Studio Head says outfit redesigns were intentional and not censorship. Just because the costumes are vulgar doesn't necessarily mean that that they're good. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, the same company that was ba basically virtue signaling to uh, base players are now trying to say, well, just because they're vulgar doesn't mean that they're good. Yeah, nobody ever said that. We're just saying to give us the game that you promised to give us without censorship that you ended up censoring. Uh, it says it's called Fashion Sweetie. Look it up. This is from Jasmine Gold Wilson. And of course, Jasmine Gold Wilson is exactly who you would expect. Uh, you know, it's it, it all starts to add up once you start looking at things and realize that there's a certain kind of people there's a certain kind of uh a person that will come out and say these kind of things so let's get into this article guys from games radar but of course before we do if you are new here just consider hitting that subscribe button i would greatly appreciate it and like the video to push us out into that youtube algorithm so yes this woman is trying to tell us what uh apparently fashion is and you could tell from that headline that she just feels ever so vindicated in what she's about to write it says kim hong tae ceo of stellar blade developer shift up has has dispelled censorship allegations regarding protagonist Eve's clothing. Uh, there's no dispelling it because what he's saying is, is in fact censorship. Like just by the definition of the word, that is what it is. It was changed after the fact. That means that there was an available, readily available version that wasn't censored, and then it became a version that was censored. That is proven to be true because if you bought the disc version of the game, you had access to all the uncensored content. And that means that if you don't have internet, if you don't patch the game guess what you're playing your final version of the game and if they're trying to tell you that's not the final version of the game then that means they have participated in something that is highly illegal which is selling you an incomplete product it doesn't matter if you have access to the internet or not they sold you a disc with a game that's incomplete if that's the route they want to go down then they have to openly admit that but they're not going to do that they're going to tell you that they sold you a complete product and thus they have to admit that they patched it after the fact for a censorship so just by the definition of loan, the beginning of this article is completely incorrect. It says the costume redesigns that altered a handful of the heroine's original outfits as seen in promotional materials are a result of a day one patch. Again, day one patch that has always been intended as the final result, according to Kim. It doesn't matter if it was always intended to be the final result. The plain and simple fucking truth is that it never was the final result. If you don't have internet, your final result is what is on the disc, which means that 1.0, that version on the disc, is the final intended version of the game. Anything after that is a patch, which means that they censored it after the fact. It says some Stellar Blade fans have taken these visual changes as evidence of publisher Sony wanting to censor Shift Up's original design by stifling its creativity, sparking online debates surrounding Eve's stupidly sexy attire and how it impacts the player's experience of the action game. It turns out that, nope, this is the work of the developer itself. It had nothing to do with Sony. You realize, I, I mean, maybe you don't. Now that I think about it, maybe you don't. But you realize that, I, I get it, you're a show media website, but you have to realize that Shift Up is under contract with Sony. 
I have seen extreme contracts just for gaming companies with creators. I can only imagine what a publisher uh, uh, contract will look like and the amount of NDAs that would be in there, the amount of clauses that will prevent a company like ShiftUp from talking negatively about Sony. Do you think that, that ShiftUp is going to come out here and say, yep, it was all Sony's fault? Do you really fucking think they're going to do that? So now you're t you're trying to take them saying, oh, it was us. You're trying to take them saying that as if it's any sort of fact. At the end of the day, it was both of them. It was Shift Up and it was Sony. But I guarantee you Sony was the one that even brought it up in the first place. It says, but whether or not you love or loathe Eve's not safe for work skin suit, Kim stretches that Shift Up didn't remove the extra hint to cleavage here or add tights there in an attempt to deprive gamers of anything but to provide stylish finishing touches to each ensemble. Yeah, sure they did. I don't think that that's just because the costumes are vulgar doesn't necessarily mean they're good. So this is something that was modified for quality. He says, as a result, there are parts where eroticism is lessened or emphasized. This is the final product that we want to show as the intended result. In short, Eve's outfits are fashion first, not sexy first. Yeah, well, if it's fashion first, you're kind of defeating the entire purpose of said outfits when they have revealing cleavage. And then all of a sudden you put a modernity cloth there to try to prevent the cleavage from being seen. That's not fashion. That's censorship. Eve's satirical choices weren't the only changes that came with the Southern Blade Day 1 patch with the addition of New Game Plus, giving play there's an incentive to stick around long after the credits roll. So they added New Game Plus to a game that was already complete in the beginning. It just further adheres to the argument that the game was done and completed in 1.0. That is the final intended version of the game. Don't give me this bullshit about, oh, the day one patch was always supposed to be the final version. If that's the case, that means you guys are shipping products that are incomplete. You are can you can open yourself up to a whole nother fucking lawsuit at that point if that's what you want to admit to doing, shifting uh, shipping products that were not complete. That is not exactly something that I would openly admit to if i was a publisher or a developer but hey you guys can do whatever the fuck you want to do obviously now again this woman is very clearly taking just one statement from this person and running with it and turning it into a whole fucking thing jasmine this writer over at games radar is doing exactly what you would expect from a games radar journalist if you even want to use that word which is hey we need to find any sort of way to dispel the narrative that gamers are currently spinning right now let's use these comments from a developer that is pigeon held by what he can say from sony because of his contract but let's pretend like this was always the thing let's just eat it up as if it's so believable it's not ladies and gentlemen it's very obvious that shift up has certain contracts that prevent them from saying anything openly against sony and i would guarantee you that if they were able to speak freely just like some other companies have spoken freely about sony's censorship requirements then you would know for a fact that they were pretty much the ones who are behind all this nonsense so regardless of the fact go sign the petition if it's still available by the time of releasing this video go sign the petition it's almost at a hundred k and we're going to get it hand delivered to shift up studios uh and i think that's just the way it's going to be man whether or not any changes happen or not we're going to come to find out they did openly um announce that there's going to be some sort of thing that they're announcing within the next week or so a lot of people are saying oh they're going to announce it they're uncensoring the patch i don't think that's going to be the case at all because if the developer is saying this about the suit then you can only imagine that it's probably going to stay the way that it is it's probably going to be a boss rush mode or something like that but time will tell but still sign the petition free stellar blade and let's see what happens from here so anyway guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope you did enjoy it if you did consider leaving me a subscribe i would greatly appreciate it. don't forget to like the video comment let me know what you thought and i'll see you guys on the next one hypnotic out